Last weekend, the Seattle Seahawks beat the LA Chargers 37 to 23. Geno Smith played really well again for Seattle. Uh, he was 20 for 27 passing, 210 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. That one interception was a ball they got deflected up in the air, not his fault. Seahawks running back, uh, rookie running back Kenneth Walker ran for 168 yards, two touchdowns. Um, Seattle's four and three right now. By the way, the Seattle Seahawks are first in their division, the NFC West, which is impressive and surprising and very, very cool to see. I, I really have a lot of respect for what's happening in Seattle. Seattle got rid of Russ, their quarterback, Russell Wilson, and they got better. And I feel like I'll say it. I think a lot of, I think the sports world in general owes a big apology to Seattle. Like I, I think of that tweet this summer where someone was making fun of uh, the, I think the U S open like tennis probably. And um, they clapped back. Well, you're a Seahawks fan. You're going to have to watch 17 games of, uh, Drew Locke playing quarterback. We all had the wrong impression, and I certainly did. So I'll say it. I, I owe Seattle a huge apology. I think a lot of people do, but I, I'll say it for myself. I do for sure. Um, I always blamed the Seahawks' failures in the last couple of years on the team. Uh, their inability to support their quarterback. It's not Russell Wilson's fault. It's the team around him. Uh, I think a lot of people thought that Pete Carroll was kind of washed up as a head coach. And I think a lot of people thought he was done when Russ left. They're like, Oh man, it's an end of an era. It was fun, Pete, but you lost your quarterback. Now you got drew lock. Like what we were, I remember saying like, is Seattle rebuilding? Like, what are they doing? They got the oldest coach in football. It makes no sense. Well, no, uh, Hey, newsflash. Pete Carroll can still coach. He looks outstanding. And by the way, he has the support of his former players. A lot of former Seattle Seahawks players are, are rallying around him saying like, no, Pete Carroll's awesome. And we loved him. And Geno is playing outstanding. Geno Smith, I've done comparisons before. He's, he's outplaying Russell Wilson by a lot. It's pretty exciting to see. They're beating quality football teams. And Russell Wilson in Denver seems weirder and weirder every time I read about him or check in with what he's doing. Um, like there's a story out yesterday. He was working out doing high knees in the aisle on the Broncos plane on their flight to London while guys are trying to sleep. Like, And the memes of that situation are absolutely hilarious. Look them up. I'll, I'll, I posted some on my Instagram story. Um, I just, the more we see Russ and learn about him in Denver, the worse he looks. Things are not good for Russell Wilson. And you, know, like, you can only contact him through his manager, apparently. He's super weird. Like, he's doing stuff that are, he's like praying in the middle of the field in cringy ways, and he's running onto practice fields, like, aching air high fives and he just seems very unrelatable he's aloof he's disconnected um it's a massive problem and i it makes sense now why seattle was struggling and, and i always thought the locker room didn't like russ because of the interception in the super bowl like that's why richard sherman didn't like him and i have no doubt that's where it began where people started to look at him sideways like bro you cost us a super bowl but i, I think it's goes way beyond that because you could have recovered from that moment. You apologize, move on. But it looks like Russ was just not very connected with his teammates. Very, very just weird and doing his own thing and cringy and kind of a, I don't want to say freak show, but like I, I watch videos of Russ and I'm like, bro, like the memes are amazing and hilarious and also horrifying. And the reality is that um, money and fame will change you. Notoriety, making a lot of money, it's its hard to deal with. It's very, um, like I made a lot of money young and I didn't know how to deal with it and I, I spent it all and killed, like ruined my life basically. Um, so it, it, it's a, it, money and fame does not appear to have changed Russell Wilson for the better. He's very cautious about what he says. He's super inauthentic. Um, he never says a bad thing, which comes across as fake as hell. It's a train wreck. And the fact that Seattle got two first round picks and two second round picks for Russ, plus Shelby Harris, Drew Locke, and Noah Fant. I mean, my goodness, Seattle. <laughs> oh, oh, and by the way, not only did Seattle destroy the trade and get a lot for Russ, which looks totally unjustified now. 
Denver gave up a ton for him in the trade and then, in kind of a desperate move, gave Russ $245 million in a five-year contract. $160 million guaranteed. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, it's so bad, man. Russell Wilson, I, I want to repeat. What's the guy's name? I want to find it on TikTok. He actually commented on my YouTube video. I don't know if he watched before my YouTube videos or not, uh, but he made... I hope he just keeps the series going. It's absolutely hilarious. He makes the videos about Russell Wilson... Um, and his, his bathrooms, like Garrett, his name is Garrett Lee. Um, I, I love this man. He's hilarious. I think he, he might be in Seattle. He's got a, it looks like a Mariners fan, like hat on the gray, different colored M. I don't know what the M means, but it might be the Seattle Mariners. So he might be a, a Seattle native. Garrett Lee, if you're out there, I love you, man. I think you're funny as all get out. And, um, he's made two TikToks now about, you know, comparing what's, Russell Wilson to the number of bathrooms he has in his house, which he has 12, which is like absurd. No one needs 12 bathrooms in their house. I don't care how much money you have. Nobody ever needs that. You need maybe like, I, I can understand you need one for the, the master bedroom. You need one or two for the kids, maybe one for the guest room, one for the downstairs, one for the upstairs. That's still only like six or seven. How do you ever end up with 12? I just, I, I know his wife is a pop star and they're living in probably just the biggest mansion ever. But like, I, I dude, I, I know he doesn't live like us, but I, I don't ever want to No matter if I became a billionaire, bro, I would still have a manageable house that I could clean myself. Not that I, I probably wouldn't if I was a billionaire, like I, I would hire help to clean it because I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to clean my house. Although maybe I don't really want people in my house either. I, I guess you'd, you'd have to if you have that much money, you need security and crap. But like, Man, I never want to live in a house that's an unmanageable size that if I needed to, I couldn't clean myself. So I just, I'm, I live in a truck and I'm, I'm happy. I, I believe it or not, I'm the happiest I've ever been in like the most humble little space I've ever been in. Uh, and it's, I gotta like, I can't even stand up in my house and it's awesome. And <laughs> I'm so happy. Anyway, I don't, I just, I'm going on a tangent now. I, I feel really bad for Broncos fans because they gave up a lot for Russ. They committed to him. It's going badly. And not only is he playing badly, he looks like a leader that I would not want in my locker room. He's weird. He's disconnected. He's aloof. He's inauthentic. Is there, do, do the Broncos teammates of his like him? I don't think so. I, I, I would not want to play with Russ. That sounds like a nightmare. And you know what's hilarious? Seattle just wins so hard right now this year. I mean, they got a bunch of draft picks. The team is well coached. Geno Smith looks really good. Seattle's first in their division. Again, I just think the whole sports world owes Seattle an apology. I'll apologize. I was wrong, and I didn't. I didn't see this coming. I was kind of like, "Can Pete Carroll still coach? Their team kind of sucks." Like, uh, all right, no, no, no. Apparently, apparently, the problem all along was was Russell Wilson. They drafted really well. They've got players everywhere. They're winning their division. I mean, dude, it, at this point. I don't think it's a fluke either. Like, Geno's played well enough for long enough that I'm like, I think a dude can just play football. He's pretty good. <laughs> Which I could have never expected. Very happy to say that and see that. And, uh, oh my goodness, man. I uh, Seattle, Russ, Denver. It's a, I think that's the most um, maybe entertaining storyline of the year is, is Seattle doing well, Denver doing bad, and Russ being just a, a complete cringy disaster. Uh, and the memes that have been produced about Russell Wilson. Thank the Lord for the internet. It's been so much fun to watch what's going on.